chilling to do this show the queen quit coming at Hona one more again this year we could zoom in in on sustainability well great god chiller i won't let you know that you guys zoom in on an island that we love this year we call the fusky so you know how we do and thing like that we want first start off with getting a moment of silence for all we ancestors and things we want to dedicate this year program to them ancestors what been from what we call right here in Beaufort County, the first key. We're going turn we on in for Hunna see a little bit about who we be. But first, let we take a moment of silence and honor our we ancestors from the first key. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Well, Hunna Chillin, this year the Queen Quet head upon the body of the Gullah Geechee Nation. I so glad if I have Hunna Chillin be here with me one more again and for take a journey with me to this year island where I love called the First Key. So my guests were there the other day with me, the genie Monsumi Ash. Some of Hunna Chillin might remember her husband, Arthur Ash, yeah, who been taking some swing. Well, we going to take a swing at who we be. And we're going to take on the children on a lead journey with we right now to the first key. I remember when we were over there on that speedboat that morning, and boy, we got to the first key dock. And who was sitting up there? Dale Williams in the Austrian car. I mean, we couldn't have even scripted that better. I don't know if you remember the car breaking down. The battery cable or something had gotten loose and we were stranded. But the last house we went to probably was uh, Johnny Hamilton. He lived back over in the really remote part of the island. He had a house with a kitchen away from the house. The Fusky was sparse then, and oh gosh, nobody hardly visited the Fusky, but y'all were very, I mean, everybody embraced strangers on the Fusky as always. When I came back from the North after about five years, the first place I was assigned was the Fusky. It conjured up all of my childhood images. The feeling there had changed. Mm -hmm. You know, we had telephone here, we had uh, what we call running water, indoor plumbing. <laughs> we had very few snakes by then, you know, and left the yard and the surrounding. Mm -hmm. And so the Fusky to me was a recon reincarnation of my childhood. And I could just, you know, identify with just about everything on the fuzzy, as opposed to the human head had, you know, had changed, has changed so much that very little identity with my childhood here now. The Lord them ship, I will want towards her. He got me for little and I grew up feeling. He got me side this water away and moved her. He brought up a soul. Yeah, lead me, and it's your righteous path for your name. Yeah, <laughs> do I walk through this your valley? We're dead, going all wrong. I go fear nothing, special evil. For he ain't there with me. He rod, he staff, he give me comfort. Oh, I didn't take this your tear, but spread them out. Why, my enemy deal right there. Oh, he give me plenty in the night, my head with all till me cook to run over. Surely, goodness and mercy, why we hide me all my days and things like that. Oh, and I go and did it. Even this house and the law, forever, ever. Amen. At one time, it meant that you were less than mainstream America, that you were outside of the mainstream and that was not good because in order to quote unquote make progress 
you had to be mainstream. You had to speak like mainstream America. You had to eat like them. You had to dress like them. And everybody strived for that. Everybody strived to be mainstream. We, um, we changed that. Diversity is now embraced. And so the big gala now means that you are part of this diverse world and, 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 and that you have something to offer. You have a different food way to offer, right? different, you have different speech to offer, you have words from West Africa that you can tell people about. You have a, a, a real composite culture that you can live and, uh, in a way that's comfortable to you, to yourself. And so you have a kind of a self-identity that you can be proud of. That's what we think it means. I mean, that's what it means to me now. Kingdom. Come. Done. Make a in heaven. Please, you Give me this, your dear. Be daily bread for that one. And please forgive me, God, for all the trespass and things we don't do. Forgive them. What? Don't come against we. Did we? Not going into temptation. But set we were for evil. For doing the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. 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 Well, honey children, I have to let you know the rest of this year broadcast ain't going to be like what you usually see, right? Your hon Gullah Geechee TV and especially on zooming in. Unfortunately, technology did not work with us. So we had a very power-filled interview with my special guest, my honored guest, my sister, Jeannie Monsumi Ash. And it ended up that at the end of the broadcast, we found that there had been a glitch and that Zoom had not recorded the broadcast. We thought we had the entire broadcast and there was some glitch and it had stopped recording. So as a result, you won't have an opportunity to actually see us engage like you normally would on screen for this episode, but yet Hunter Chillin still why Yeti will we crack we teeth up. So I pray that you will still stay tuned and hear this because it's very important to us that you support a project that we have been working on, that that beautiful video that you just watched is a part of. And it's called DIGS. It's the Defusky Island Gullah Scholarship. And this being Gullah Geechee Cultural Heritage Awareness Month, we went and immediately made a contribution from the Gullah Geechee Sea Island Coalition to that fund. And we're going to continue to work with my sister to actually raise the entire $300,000 endowment so that then this endowed scholarship will be located at the University of South Carolina, Buford. Right, you? We're going to find me. That where the Fusky be. You see? Right, you in Buford County. Beautiful Buford by the sea. So, I just wanted you to know up front why all of a sudden you're going to say, well, why, what happened? We're Queen Quentin. Them. How come they ain't moving like you're normally doing and all that stuff on the show? You will know that that is due to the fact that there was a technical glitch with the video. But fortunately, we still have the audio. And we're going to show you part of the interview here just so that my TV viewing audience that I love so well at Gullah Geechee TV, you all don't miss out this week. However, if you would prefer to just listen to the audio, then 
go over to Gullah Geechee Rhythm Radio because we're broadcasting the entire interview there with the audio. But we want to let you know why this week our video is not going to be as engaging as it normally is, but we still got something for Hona Look Pun and Zoom in too. So we're so glad that you're still going to stick with us and hear this whole interview through. So thank you, thank you to all of Hona Chillin and thing like that. Sometimes these things happen. Unfortunately, it happened to we when I had my guest on that was a celebrity. But we still got them so that Hona can Yeti what we've been to crack we teeth about. And she'll be coming back on the show so that we can give you some updates on the project later on. So in the meantime, make sure you make a donation to Diggs, the Defusky Island Gullah Scholarship. And we're going to put the link right up here on the screen so that you can see it and how you can give. And then you can always follow GullahGeecheeNation.com and we'll have all the information there on the blog for you to donate. Please share it and please keep on celebrating with we, who we be. You know, we be Gullah Geechee, anointed people. Peace and blessings and lots of health and safety to the whole family. See, this just been a little bit of the journey. Well, we want to take on her too. And you know what, honey, children can go and do? You can go to that book and day. Oh, yeah, that you see putting the cover just now. And sure, honey, oh, plenty more about this your place. What we done turn into the first key. But you know, right, y'all, when we done use the word zooming in, <laughs> them what they knew to me guess this your day and thing like that. Now, plenty of honey children might show back in your honor. You might show them next day. Husband, if y'all been into them athletic and thing like that. And God bless the dead honey member, Arthur Ash. Uh huh. So we got somebody who been not just a film, all these your thing and caption and steals and things like that. I'll do what he been to do. But it come here too. And so, my sister is here with us today. And it's such an honor to have her. This photographer, I pray that you have had the opportunity to have heard of before and to have seen her works before. And today we asked her to join us here on Zooming In so that she can tell us the words that come from behind that camera lens. Because it's one thing to zoom in with the camera lens. And it's another thing to know what led you to zooming in. So today I want to introduce to all of you Sister Jeannie Matsumi Ash, who is here with us. And interestingly enough, she has actually been on this journey documenting the island of Defusky for a couple of decades. And so if you own the book that you just saw the cover of on the screen, you bet not let it go. It is a collector's item now, especially if you have one of the original first printings. The beauty of what she has done is not just to come here like many people have done, Come here like they're on safari, capture the images, go away. We never see them again. The only thing we hear is we're in a book or we're in a documentary or we're in somebody's exhibition in some gallery or especially in some museum. And no one's names are attached. There's a disconnect. There's no continuous relationship. Well, these waterways continue to carry our journey, to carry our legacy, to carry our story, and they carried her to us, and she's never disconnected from us here in Beaufort County, South Carolina, in the Gullah Geechee Nation, and in particular, definitely didn't disconnect from the folks at Defusky. You heard Emery Campbell just telling you about the first day they connected up to go over and shoot the images, some of which you just got to see. But now we want to zoom in on more about her photography and cultural communities. My sister Jeannie, peace and blessings. Welcome to Zooming In on Sustainability. How honored to do today. 
I'm doing very well. Thank you so much for having me, Queen Quet. It's my honor to be here and to talk to you personally and to see you, finally. Finally, yes, finally. And you know, we were talking before we came on the air about uh, my chagrin, about the fact that Rona the run run, y'all hear me, y'all hear me to crack my teeth of Rona every week. I tell her, she, you know, I gotta set them for a switch in the lead while they need for go sit down. Okay, because she blocking us from having this wonderful celebration that we had planned for this new tier, I call it, this new stage in the work that you have done. So Sister Jeannie, first let's take them backward. Let's do a little bit of Sankofa. Let's go back and fetch it and then let's fly forward. Tell us, when was your first journey to the Fusky Island? It was in April of 1977. And I have a friend or had a friend um, that I'd known for years who's from Buford and wow. I'm sure you know her and that's Verda Mae Grosvenor. Absolutely, yes, who yes, has, God bless the dead, you know, yes. Unbelievably talented writer and presence. Verda had so much presence. I, I felt uh, very, very fortunate to know Verda mm -hmm. and that was how I learned about the Sea Islands. Yes. But I first came down and, and visited a couple of the islands like Edisto mm -hmm. and I visited uh, John's Island and yeah. Wadmala Island mm -hmm. and I came back and I told Verda how what an amazing trip I had. She said, well, did you go to Defusky? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Said, no, I didn't go to Defusky. You, you got to go to Defusky. Yeah. You got to mm -hmm. go shoot on Defusky. Mm -hmm. So that's really how my journey began. <laughs> It was Wonderful. through Verda May and I, to this day, um, thank her for, for that journey because the idea of going to the Sea Islands actually started when I was in college. Really? Years, almost three years later, um, I was in the Sea Islands. Oh, wow. And I just said, I'm going to drive down there and drive down Highway 17. That and was just right. The King's Highway. Left turns. There you, you know, go. That's it. That's Charleston. all you got to do. <laughs> yeah. And get to the coast and get in the ocean again. That's yeah. all you got to yeah. do. Yeah. You're yeah. right. Coming from north, yeah. all you do is make other left turns to get to us. But definitely. Right. I love it. it is wonderful. Well, so now tell me. Okay. So we're in the 1970s. You yeah. are coming down to go to Defusky to do what? Uh, is in your mind that you're actually documenting a place that is gonna be reminiscent of West Africa, or you just have a class assignment? What's in your mind when you're taking this journey to come down? And did that, what was in your mind initially, did that get altered once you got to that dock where Emery said it was like y'all couldn't have even staged that? The timing was so impeccable for what was going on when you got there? No, that's a very good question, and you really are taking me back in, in asking it because it was absolutely for myself as a photographer, I engage in projects because I'm interested in history. I'm mm -hmm. interested in people, and I want to connect to people, yeah. and that's how I do it. I grew mm -hmm. up on the south side of Chicago, mm -hmm. so going to um, West Africa where, you know, there, there is no color. In right. West Africa, that's right. Because everybody is African, right? You know, so, so having that experience mm -hmm. um, was mind-boggling to me. And then to go to uh, to go to the Sea Island, but um, it was very important. It's always important when you're doing something that's. Um, it's either going to be an intrusion on mm -hmm. people's lives, mm -hmm. yeah. or it's going to be a welcoming. Yes. And I knew right away, I heard um, language and I heard things that I couldn't quite understand. And mm -hmm. Emery said to me, they're saying you're a Fukumya. Right. <laughs> you're a Fukumya. So, mm -hmm. what? <laughs> so he explained mm -hmm. to me what Forbinya and Fukumya meant. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was, this was, I was in my 20s, Queen Quan. Right, right. So it, it was um, a moment that I just had to take it all in, but I yeah. did start taking some photographs right. and I learned just by um, instinct and intuition mm. what felt right. okay and yeah. what didn't felt, feel, okay. feel okay. And that's yeah. pretty much how I moved through 
their journey the four or five years on and off the island so over yeah. that four or five year period is that what the book encompasses an entire four to five years or when yes. did you put that book together was that a, the initial vision or was it something that grew over all that time it grew over time, but the first book, which was published in 1982 by the University of South Carolina Press, mm -hmm. had 68 black and white photographs in it. Okay, okay. So what I didn't envision at that time was that 25 years later, mm -hmm. I would have revisited all of my contact sheets from Defusky Island uh -huh. and seen how much time had changed the world yes. changed yes. Defusky. It had changed me personally. Yes. And as I went through the contact sheets, I decided there's a 25th anniversary book here, and now yeah. I'm having 114 photographs in it. So the 25th anniversary edition was much, a uh, much uh, larger, robust larger volume collection of, yeah. Yeah, of images. And I think that was not just because the island changed, but because I had, you know. Uh, become a mother. Mm. I was seeing the young children that I yeah. had photographed back then um, right. differently. Yeah, then you would have at 20 something years old. Exactly. Right. Was, you know, in my mid 20s. Yeah. So um, it, it was really, uh, it's been a process. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, I'm still working on the Defusky Island portfolio. Yes. But the point of, of bringing all that up is you can see the progression of my um, connection to Defusky. It's yes. it's been my life's work. Yeah, and it's a beautiful it's a beautiful life's work. And it Thank is you. wonderful to see, you know, as Thank someone who loves Defusky, who's taken the boat over there many, many times and helped mm -hmm. raise money and been part of Defusky Day presenting and touring the island and everything mm -hmm. and eating devil crab of course. I'm sure you had your fair <laughs> share when you were there. My mother just made devil crabs yesterday here. Oh, <laughs> um, yes. Yeah. Two of the big intentions mm -hmm. of this project was one um, to give the um, to give the importance of the island and the people of the island to mm -hmm. history. Yes, that I wanted the story to be told, and I wanted it to be told by us. Right. I right. wanted people to understand the dignity mm -hmm. in the people at Defusky Island. Yes. I wanted people to see that. Yes. And so it wasn't so much about the language, which I'm glad that that has, you know, really developed as well mm -hmm. as it has in terms of having some significance in the general public. People are beginning to hear because of people like your, yourself, mm -hmm. um, the language spoken. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, the, uh, the New Testament, which yes. has been written in Gala. Mm -hmm. But the, the two, to get back to the two intentions, um, yes, it was to document, but the other two was one, to set up an educational fund for the kids but specifically, the reason why I called it Defusky Island Gullah Scholarship Fund mm -hmm. was because there are very, very few Gullahs actually living on Defusky anymore. Right. And I didn't want there to be any confusion about whether or not <clears throat> these scholarship funds should be given to anyone who was not a legacy right. of someone who was a part of the project. Absolutely. It was kind of a, something that I had you know, promised to to Susie and people on the island. Yes. And it's taken a long time for it to develop, but but since the 25th anniversary edition, mm -hmm. it's really kind of taken off. Wonderful. So I've been able to help, but um, I'm not going to be around forever. Now I know what None you're saying. None of us are, right? So I wanted to ensure that... Um, the legacy is left behind. And that it's continue. left behind and yes. in a safe keeping yes. with uh, with the community that would be accessible to right. the legacy kids of the people who are in the Defusky Island book. Outstanding. And so I chose University of South Carolina Buford. I have spoken to uh, President um, Panu. Panu. Mm -hmm. And he's welcoming that the scholarship be set up there. And Excellent. I would love to come back and speak to you once that's all set up to, to give more directives of, of how to apply for that scholarship. That but excellent. we're at the process of setting it up now because you need a certain amount of money to be able to even have um, it done. endow the a scholarship, which I'm sure you know. Yes. About. yes. So, so that's 
taking place now and mm -hmm. until then the monies that are being do donated or if um, the next stage are the portfolios yes. that if they sell mm -hmm. they would go to um, the total amount of the sale of the portfolio goes to the scholarship fund Excellent. so as soon as we get enough money to set mm -hmm. that up We'll set it up at University, at University of South Carolina. South Carolina. But so, in the meantime, so that was the other tip. yeah. But in and the meantime, the last... people go to the Southern Documentary Funds page and make donations into it, so yes. that that money is going toward the endowment that yes. will then be the scholarship endowment that'll be housed at University of South Carolina here in Beaufort, which is where the Fusky Island is. Yeah. Yes. Until we get enough money to take it out of the Southern Documentary Fund yes. and move it to to the Diggs Scholarship, Scholarship Fund, Fund at the University of South Carolina, Buford. Excellent. But um, there is a page on the Southern Documentary Fund website, and all you have to do is type in Defusky Island, mm -hmm. and a page will show up mm -hmm. of the project. Yes. And it, it just tells, about, it's not a lot, but it gives you a sense of the purpose of the project. Right. Um, but the, the purpose of the project, the, the third, I said two, and mm -hmm. I've given you two already. Yes. But the last one, and it's, it was also very important to me, that in terms of preservation, yes. not just the scholarship, mm -hmm. but I wanted the scholarship fund to be around when I'm not here anymore. Yes, you know, donate still to the scholarship. You all heard it go to the page that's southern been described fund. southern documentary fund type in the fusky and then when the page comes up you'll be able to contribute there and those funds will help go toward the endowment so i'm definitely encouraging all of you go ahead get to amazon get your copy because when they're going they're going 25th 25th you, you can't change that you know we don't pass that number so get yourself a copy of this book and definitely if you all want to rewatch this or share it with your friends it's going to be on gullahgeechee.tv you know you can subscribe for free gullahgeechee.tv and you can always follow me at gullahgeechee so you'll know more about the Diggs scholarship and you know I always say Hona must take care of the root for heal the tree so anything named Diggs you had me right there sister <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yes. Well, it, it is. It's appropriate. And I think the only thing that's missing from this conversation is my cup of tea. Anna. The sweet tea, Anna. Anna, get But tea Let's or go. fried, you know, a fried fish tea. or something. And both. You know, can't have both because you got to have something to wash the fish down. So you got to have at least sweet tea and things like that. Throw them down throat, wash them down, and then get a little cornbread, you know. And, you know. I know you know. That's the only thing that's missing in this meeting. And I know that's right. But next time we're gonna get that together. We're gonna get I look that together. To it. For I sure. Look I truly to it. look forward to this. To it, you. We're both saying the same thing. It's such a pleasure <laughs> to be with you. I just I just wish we were under an oak tree on the porch together exactly. right here, but we are in a way right now. And I so know. it's a yeah. blessing. It's a blessing. So definitely you have any final words for the audience that you want to share just in terms of being a photographer. I appreciate your asking and giving me the opportunity to say that all of us should be documenting our families. All of us, every family needs a documentarian. So use those phones to take and make photographs to document your family. And I promise you, you will be very happy that you did as you're doing it. It's, it's not just talking it. You are telling valuable stories. You are moving this generation and legacy forward. And I want to thank you for that. And I really look forward to possibly coming back and talking to you once we set up yeah. the Diggs Scholarship Fund. So this generational, this moving from one generation to the next, again, I encourage your audience. I encourage your audience to pick up that torch and keep doing it because this story can never stop being told absolutely i thank you and i thank you for being part of all of us who have been telling our story and so that people know that we're not legends but we have a legacy because Correct. a lot of people just I think agree. it's mythology when they hear yeah. about who we be down your upon these your sea islands but when we put the pictures out there when we put the videos out there when we put our voice to it they realize there's life there and it's real life you That's see right. this is reality who we be we be Gullah Geechee anointed people. Make sure to follow GullahGeecheeNation.com. 
GullahGeecheeNation.com, and you'll keep up with the journey of what we're doing to dig a little deeper into this scholarship fund, get it endowed, get it moved, and we definitely want to get that that portfolio here at the St. Helena Branch Library so that you all can come to the Gullah Geechee Room like you have been doing in the past and support us and support the programming, but especially support our legacy that continues to go on. And so we're so proud that with the Gullah Geechee Land and Legacy Fund, we were able to get enough funds to support a lot of people this past week so that they didn't lose their property. Thank you for all of you who donated. Even if you say, well, I only had five to put on it, Queen. Trust me, your five dollars helped somebody's family to continue to stay on their land. And without this, your land ain't going to be none of we. Because there ain't going to be no Gullah Geechee if we ain't there the Island in the sea. So definitely when y'all see us zooming in, and this is 2020, it's all about seeing things more clearly, and it's about that legacy that you're going to leave behind. Who's going to put your picture on a wall or put it in a book or pour a libation and call out your name? So you got to think about what you do today so that there's something for someone else in the future that's positive. And so I'm so happy that we've had a chance to share some of these things as we zoomed in on photography and documenting the cultural community here, Pondefoski. And we have more of the journey to go. And guess what? When I leave the show, I'm going straight over. And we are going to make at least a $500 donation to Diggs today. All right? And yes, from the Gullah Geechee Land, the Legacy Fund. We're going, we're going to do that because we want to help Sunday churn going on to school. Yeah? Poor kid. And so we're definitely going to do that today. And encourage others that are watching, who are listening. If you can match me, match me. If you can't, just say, well, okay, Queen, I couldn't get quite there. But y'all know how we do in church. Then tithe. Tithe. Get 10%. Put that on it. All right? Because it is going to make a difference. And it'll make a difference in the future of natives from Gull from Defusky as well as descendants of Defusky to get their education paid for. And that can make all the difference in the world. All right. So we definitely want to continue to plant seeds that are going to grow in the future. And so that we can sustain who we be right up on these islands in the sea, called the Sea Islands and the Gullah Geechee Nation. This should have Queen Quet, head upon the body of the Gullah Geechee Nation. So glad that y'all tune in one more again for zooming in on sustainability. See you on the next Wednesday, on the chilling. And by the way, Happy Gullah Geechee Cultural Heritage Awareness Month. If we ain't done make you aware of who we be today, I ain't know what's wrong with y'all chilling. I ain't know what for say. All right. Y'all take care. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Peace and blessings, everybody.